they open this movie with the cast saying, sorry it's been so long, sorry it's been 14 years, but it'll be totally worth it. The question is, was it really worth it? It's been 14 years since the first Incredibles, which that was, it is my favorite Pixar movie and it was my favorite animated film I think of all time. I'm gonna start right off, from, right off from what I loved about this. It's been so long since I've seen a sequel to a movie that just picks it up exactly where the first one left off. You know, so often they they pick it up and it's five years later. It's, you know, they have to give you backstory to fill in what you missed between the first, second, or third, or fifth, or whatever's going on. This didn't. If you remember where the first one ended where uh, the, you know, the underminer was coming up, you know, out of the ground and they all put their mask on, they're about to throw down. This picks up right there, which was awesome because if you hadn't seen the first one, yeah, you're gonna need to know what's going on, but if you saw it, it's just like watching one long movie, which was great. One thing this one did that this first one, it did, but this dove much more into uh, the family dynamic and what everyone's thinking and what everyone's kind of going through. And there's another situation going on with supers. I'm gonna try not to spoil anything. Uh, you know, the first one was all about Mr. Incredible. This is all, almost all about a Elastigirl, but even though the main part of the story revolves around Elastigirl, it, it's cutting in between what she's doing and then what Mr. Incredible's doing, and he's having to watch the kids while uh, Elastigirl is doing what she's doing. Again, don't want to spoil it. But so what's awesome is they keep cutting back to Mr. Incredible having to deal with the kids, not getting any sleep, and just doing what typically mom has to do. Now Mr. Incredible has to deal with all of that. Not the way you're supposed to do it, Dad. They want us to do it this I don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? No, math is math. Okay, math Dad. is math. All over Dusseldorf. Doozles are dozing. Her eyelids so heavy, they're drooping. Mm. Close it! Which was hilarious. And what this, I was so happy this movie did that the first one touched on at the very, very end. And if you saw Jack Jack Attack, the little short that came along, I think along with the DVD or after the movie or somewhere you could see that. You got a lot of Jack Jack in this movie. And those were by far my favorite scenes in the entire film. I lost, I lost it every single time something would happen. He was the cutest and most hilarious. It was the best. Go see it just for Jack Jack. What the? That is freaky. But I can't keep giving him cookies. Oh, he's freaky. Nobody in a daddy. Let me jump into the story really quick. The story itself. The story is, it's, it's, it's predictable. It's kind of predictable. I mean, it's not um, as predictable. I, I didn't predict the first one with Syndrome. But the, the second one, supers are, you know, illegal. They're not supposed to, you know, be out in the world. Superheroes are illegal. We want to fight bad guys. I use bad guys. It defines who I am. We're not saying you have... What? And now people have been seeing them, so now there's, a, again, there's another call for should supers be allowed to come out, and there's this guy who is, uh, he's making it his mission to, 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 to show the world what's good about supers and why they should be out in, you know, in the world. You know, show the world why supers are great. And even though he's talked to Frozone, and he's talked to Mr. Incredible, and he's talked, and he's, he's got them all, he says, Elastigirl, you're the one who has done the, the least amount of damage in your career. You are the safest bet. I want you to run this campaign with me. So that's really what's going on. Now, now while that's going on, there is some, you know, evil force trying to stop, you know, this, this uh, relinquishment of uh, the super's shackles. About halfway through it, it I was kind of like, okay, I think this is who it is. I think this is what's going on. So there wasn't really a huge surprise, but it in no way diminished the enjoyment of the film. I cannot, I mean, it may be, I, I can't rate, you know, it's Incredibles and Incredibles 2. It's right, I mean, I think I laughed more more in Incredibles 2 because of Jack-Jack, but Incredibles is just, it, it's a classic to me. It's its like the top of the Pixar scale. So they're they are neck and neck. I, I, I consider them a beautiful, a, a beautiful union. They work very, very well together. I mean, if I had to say it, it's like Incredibles is still here. It's like here and, and right right there. It's so close. I, I will still say Incredibles just ekes out Incredibles 2, just probably because because of nostalgia, but Incredibles 2 was a fantastic film, and I cannot... I'm, I'm gonna go see it again. I'm sure... I have movie pass, but I'm gonna go see it again. I'm gonna pay to go see it a second time. See it on the biggest screen that you can. The action sequences were fantastic. The jokes hit. They were hilarious. If you're, you know, a parent, and I am not, there is so much, you know, adult parental type humor that you will lose it. It is totally worth seeing. So, oh, 
Oh, but it always comes back to the question, which you've probably got the idea from so far. Was I entertained? 100% yes. It was fantastic. Go see it. I don't think anything could mess this up except if it's sold out. Definitely a golden ticket for me. Go see it. Highly recommend it. Incredibles 2. I was entertained. If you have seen it, I hope you were entertained. If you weren't, let me know. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. I want to know what you think. But until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>